In this problem, uh, we are given two uh, numbers and these numbers are represented in the form of linked list. So digits are represented in the form of linked lists and we have two of those and we have to find the sum. For example, for this case, the sum will be represented by another list and the numbers are in reverse order. So let's understand the problem statement and this is lead code problem number two. So it says that uh, we are given two numbers represented as linked lists. So if the list is like this, two, four, three, then it represents the number three, four, two in the reverse order. So this is the least significant digit and this is the most significant digit. So uh, I think this uh, they have done uh, for the ease of uh, adding the numbers because when we are adding two numbers, so first let's write the second number. This is five, six, four. That means four, six, five. When we are adding two numbers in decimals, we are uh, starting with the rightmost digit. So here this is a singly linked list. So we have access to the head. So for ease of the problem, they might have reversed the order. So here 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 4 is 10 and there is a carry of 1 here. So 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8, 807. So the result will be 708. So 7, 0, 4 plus 3 and 1 is carry, so 8. So we should return 7, 0, 8, this list. So how we will do it? So let's see. So uh, we have uh, list 1 which is 2, 4, 3, list 2 which is 5, 6, 4. So what we can do, we have to find numbers, find num and it takes L1, L2 as the input and uh, the list structure is that uh, it contains a val of type integer next of type list pointer and uh, that's it and constructor where you can uh, use some int to construct the list so we will be using this structure so initially uh, we have to keep track of uh, a carry when we are adding uh, numbers so initially in this function we can have carry equal to 0 and we have to return a list pointer as the result. So we will have a list pointer. We can call it uh, result and initialize it to with some dummy value. Let's say new list with a value of 0. And also we will have a pointer, running pointer, which will point to the current position in the result. So we are building this result digit by digit. So this current will be pointing to the current digit we are adding here. So initially it will be same as the result. Now we have to run through both the lists. So we can have while list1 is not null or list2 is not null or carry is not zero. So it's possible that the lists are of different sizes. For example, we can add two numbers like one, two, three, four, and the second number is just two digit, 22. So this is first list, second list. And so we have to run till the end, till both the list becomes null. Also in the last place, we can have additional carry. So that will increase the length of the list. So that's why we are checking on all of those three. So if any of them exists, we have to run it. So if uh, we will have all the numbers, what we have to add the current digit from both the lists. If one of them is, uh, let's say we are going from here to here and now here it has become null. So we can add zero. It's equivalent to adding zero in the beginning. So first digit will be L1 dot val if L1 exists. So if L1 is there, then L1 val else 0. Similarly, D2 equal to if L2 is not null, then L2 val else 0. And then we can find sum. 
so I'm equal to d1 digit 1 plus digit 2 plus whatever was the carry and then if the sum exceeds 10 let's say the sum is 12 then we take a carry of 1 and the sum is 2 so uh, we will create a list a new list node list pointer of n equal to new list and uh, the digit will be just the last digit that is sum modulo 10 and then uh, carry will be sum divided by 10 so if it was less than 10 this will be become 0 and then we have to advance both the pointers so l1 equal to if l1 was there not null then l1 dot next else it will remain null pointer similarly for l2 and now when this loop ends uh, we had this result which we had initialized to a node with a value of 0 and then uh, we were incrementing we were creating a new nodes and with the value of some model uh, some modulo 10 and we were adding as the next of result so this we have not added here so let's add it so after this step we can add uh, current the running sum current equal to or current not next equal to this node uh, n the current digit current sum and also we have to advance the current current equal to n so uh, let's run through this example uh, we have two four three five six four two four three five six four and initially uh, result equal to a dummy node with value zero current equal to current is pointing to result and then we go inside the loop l1 is here l2 is this one both are not null so d1 equal to 2 d2 equal to 5 carry equal to 0 so sum is 7 7 modulo 10 is 7 so we create a new node with a value of 7 and make the next of result point to that node 7 and current now moves here next we come here carry is again 0 6 plus 4 is 10 so sum is 10 10 modulo or 10 is 0 so we create a node with a value of 0 and carry becomes 1 so we make the next of this point to 0 and this current points here now so that we can add the next node now we sum d1 is 3 d2 is 4 and carry is 1 so sum becomes uh, 8 so we create a node with a value of 8 and the next of 0 is 8 so we have 0 7 0 8 and result is always pointing to this one and now uh, carry also becomes 0 l1 also becomes null l2 also becomes null so we return this but we have added one extra 0 so we should return result next instead of result so we will return just 708 now let's write the code so by the way time complexity here will be o of n since we are scanning through both the lists so o of n1 plus n2 where n1 and n2 are the number of elements in lists uh, 1 and 2 now let's write the code for this so first we will have uh, carry equal to 0 then list node star result equal to new list and then while l1 is not null or l2 is not null or carry is not zero we will have a uh, digit one equal to l1 if l1 is there then l1 val else zero similarly d2 equal to if l2 is not null then l2 val else zero and then we will have sum equal to d1 plus d2 plus carry and then uh, we will have a 
result and then we we have to also keep track of the current node the current digit from modulo 10 and then We have to advance both L1 and L2. So if L1 is there, then L1 next, else null pointer. Similarly, L2 equal to, if L2 is there, then L2 next, else null ptr. And finally, we have to return result next, since we had added this extra node. Now let's run the code. It works for this test case. Now let's submit it. And the result is accepted. So all the test case have passed. So I hope uh, you understood uh, this simple problem. It has been asked uh, a few times in Google interview. So good luck.